Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to learn how to access our bulk data file from within FEMAP. First, we have to create a model. To do so, we have to first create a material card. We go to Model, Material, and let's say we're making an aluminum material. The elastic modulus should be 10 million PSI, and the Poisson's ratio about 0.33. Now we can go ahead and create our property card by going to model, property. Let's say we want to make a rod element. We click property type, rod, and hit OK. Now we want to make sure that we select the material that we just made, which is aluminum. Let's give it a title. And area 0 0.5 with the torsional constant of 0 0.2. Now we can go ahead and place down our nodes by going model, node, and let's do two elements with in a straight line. So 0, 0, 0 for the first node, and then 10, 0, 0 for the second node, and then 20, 0, 0 for the th last node. We can now connect them together by going to model and elements. We connect the two elements and make sure to change the property card to the one that we just made. And repeat until we're done. Now we have to make an analysis set. Go to Model, Analysis, and then click New. Let's add a title. We want to make sure our analysis program is set to SimCenter NASRAN. That way, it uses the VMAP NASRAN. We will be running a static solution, so that's solution 101. And by clicking Next, we can customize the way that we want our solution to be done. We will be keeping everything the same. Over here in Echo Model, you can change it to Echoes equal Sort. And now our analysis set is complete. We can then access our bulk data file by clicking preview input. As you can see, our echo has been changed to sort. And we have all of our grid points here, our material card, and everything else. We can edit this bulk data file in this dialog box by going to edit preview and clicking the box. Now we can make all the changes that we need, and it will save it into FEMAP. Once again, just to recap, in order to access your bulk data file, you have to first create a model, create the appropriate analysis set, and once you're done with that, go to Model, Analysis, and Preview Input to access your bulk data file.